Welcome to Big Ass Fans Installation Guide for Haiku. In this video, we're going to show you how to assemble, install, and wire your Haiku with low profile mount. First, turn off power at the breaker. Do not connect the fan to a damaged power source or attempt to resolve electrical failures on your own. Contact a licensed electrician if you are uncomfortable performing electrical work or if required by local code. Do not use the fan with a dimmer switch. Next, please make note of the serial number of your fan. This can be found either on the fan's packaging or on the motor casing, just above where the airfoils attach. After opening the fan box, please inspect the packaging to ensure you have all the hardware and components for your fan. You can use the installation guide to cross-reference the contents required. In addition to the supplied tools, you will also need a ladder, a screwdriver, and a wire stripper. You may also want a multimeter or voltage tester to ensure your power is off at the site. Make sure your outlet box is suitable for fan support. If there is not an outlet box at the fan location, install one on a ceiling joist or beam. For instructions on installing an outlet box, or for instructions on installing your fan on a concrete ceiling or wood ceiling joist, consult your fan's instruction manual. Match the sticker color on each airfoil to the corresponding sticker color on the motor unit. Moving clockwise, slide each airfoil edge under the lower cover and align the mounting holes with the holes on the motor unit. Secure with the supplied M5 screws. Make sure the grommets are positioned correctly in the holes. Slide rubber bumpers onto down tube brackets. Secure mounting place to the mounting structure with suitable hardware. Loosely attach one mounting bracket to the mounting plate with two 6mm nylock nuts, but do not fully tighten. Warning, two people are recommended for this step, or the fan should be placed upright on a stable surface during this step to allow both hands to be free for securing the safety cable. Raise fan to mounting plate and temporarily rest one rubber bumper in the space between the mounting bracket and the mounting plate. Some local safety codes require the safety cable to be secured directly to an existing part of the building structure. It may be necessary to install additional structural material to provide attachment points. Check your local safety code if you are unsure. While supporting the fan, loop the safety cable around a mounting plate, anchor hook, or other building structure, and then secure it with a shackle. Allow the fan to hang from the safety cable. Wire the fan as shown, connecting ground, neutral, then hot wires. Secure the other bumper with the remaining mounting bracket and 6mm nylock nuts. Tighten all four nuts with a wrench until snug. Raise wiring cover allowing about an eighth of an inch or 3mm gap at the ceiling. Align mounting slots with two screw holes on down tube and secure wiring cover with the wiring cover screws. Slide wiring cover trim up the down tube, aligning the inside tabs with the slots on the bottom of the wiring cover. Twist trim clockwise to secure in place. Insert the two down tube screw caps that match the color of your fan into the screw holes at the bottom of the down tube. Remove the lower cover from the bottom of the motor unit by twisting counterclockwise. Save the lower cover. Reinstall it if you later uninstall the downlight. 
plug down light wiring harness into receptacle on bottom of motor unit. Align slots on downlight with tabs on bottom of motor unit and twist downlight clockwise to secure in place. Congratulations on a successful installation. Now it's time to test your fan. Turn on the power, then press any button on the remote control to pair it with your fan. The fan should beep when the remote successfully pairs. If your remote doesn't pair within a few seconds, simply press and hold the fan power and fan minus simultaneously until the remote's lights blink three times. Get close to your fan and press any button on the remote. Now, test your fan. Please note that it is normal for the fan to jerk forward and backward slightly for a few seconds when first turned on. Another way to control your fan is by downloading the Big Ass Fans mobile app. With the app, you can group multiple fans, adjust their settings, and set your comfort preferences for hands-free control.